May day off the coast when a boat starts sinking. You can't stand in that water for too long, and they were out there for a couple of hours before they were finally rescued. Two men overboard in frigid water. He couldn't feel his feet or anything after a while. Tonight, tragedy at sea. One of those young men off the coast of Plymouth could not hold on and did not survive. Tonight, his father, a veteran police officer, talked to us about getting the call every parent dreads. The night team's Amanda Gray spoke with him, and she's live in Plymouth. Well, his son was out on the water here with his best friend last night. They put in that mayday call right about this time, but by the time Coast Guard rescuers got there, it was too late. This is just devastation beyond words. Keith Hansen trying to make sense of his 20-year-old son's final hours. Dave Hansen, an Eagle Scout featured in the paper, was found unconscious by a Coast Guard helicopter at 2.30 a.m. off Plymouth Harbor. He'd been in the ocean for more than three hours after the 15-foot pleasure boat he was in with a friend took on water. You can only cling on to a buoy so long, and that's what, I, what my understanding is what they're doing. They're holding on to a buoy, and they're trying to hold on for dear life. He says Dave slipped underwater and couldn't be revived. His friend Wayne Carlson was rescued by a Coast Guard helicopter holding on to that buoy. I know Wayne tried his hardest to keep Dave with him. Ex-girlfriend Heather Bosworth spoke with Wayne Carlson after he was released from the hospital. He couldn't hold on anymore. He, he couldn't feel his feet or anything after a while. The Kingston Fire Department now draped in black. Dave Hansen was a part-time call firefighter here and was about to graduate college with a two-year fire science degree, hoping to join the department full-time. David was, was going to head for a really good career. A career helping others, something his father says he was doing on a recent trip to Haiti. He left his clothes there because they needed it more than him. That was the type of kid he was. He was always there to help. And both men were wearing their life jackets, and Keith Hansen says they were not drinking. Still, he says his son really shouldn't have been out on the water at that hour. He's urging all others to think twice about getting in a boat without the proper boating safety lessons. We're live in Plymouth. Amanda Grace, 7 News 19.